today I've got a special guest, Youper Brother Mark. Good morning, all. Hey, now listen, here's the deal. Youper Brother Mark speaks a little bit different language than you and me. So I'm happy to translate for you. And uh, so you can truly enjoy his bubbly yet effervescent personality. How are you doing today, Youper Brother Mark? Just fantastic. He said, just fantastic. <laughs> Especially since I skipped away, <laughs> snuck out from work. That's right. He's here this morning playing hooky. You betcha. You bet. Anyway, we'll walk along here for a little bit and uh, and gab. And uh, it's another practice video. What can I say? This We uh, just were down by the Brewer River, and uh, Mark and I walk twice a week, every Friday and Saturday morning, and this morning it was so beautiful, I uh, texted Mark, as we do every single morning, just to catch up on each other's lives, and I said, why don't you come on out and walk with? And uh, there's still a little bit of naughtiness in that boy. He decided that he'd come out and stroll the quick three and a half miles with me. So Mark, why don't you tell us what you uh, what you actually do, uh, other than frolic and play in layman terms? And, yeah, in layman terms. And again, if you have any trouble understanding him, I'll I'll translate for you. I'm I'm bilingual. Well, I'm involved with a company that we make animal bedding. I run a facility here in Michigan, and I look overlook operations at two of our locations in New York, and Kentucky. Of course, one of our biggest concerns today is putting up with all this craziness that we're having. But in all in all, it pays the bills, and we're counting down the days to I'm going to retire and I can join my buddy here a little bit more on our walks. Well, we're just about back to Maple Valley on, Pin did you know that's what we call it now? Oh, Maple Valley. Eh? Maple Valley on Pentoga Road. Do you know why? Oh, it's gotta be because of that sweet stuff that comes out of those trees. Mmm. Mm, good. You're and, right. And this year they ran like you would not believe. They ran like the devil. I had something else I was going to say, but sorry, you will wash my mouth out with salt. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I wouldn't tell her if you didn't tell her. I know, but they would tell her. Oh. Uh, would they tell? No, I hope not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I write for a bunch of people that would tell. Oh, no. That's why I love them so much, because I'd tell on them if I got the, the oh, chance. Okay. Anyway, no, it's called Maple Valley because we watch HGTV occasionally. And oh. every single house that they sell has a name. You know, like the Blue Lagoon House. Okay. Or Raven's Nest. That's a good one. Yes. You know, that kind of thing. So Sarji some time ago decided that we were Maple Valley. Well, then you better make a new sign for in front of your place. No, that's not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> now, I still call it Pentoga Road, even though I have to share it with two other houses. Uh -huh. Darn them anyway. Greedy, greedy. Not really. We've got great neighbors. Anyway, so we're going to wind this up today. We're getting close to home and... Uh, I want to thank you for Brother Mark for coming on with us. And it was great seeing you folks today. And remember, be good because Brother Tom is keeping an eye on you. That's right. He just said, it was great being with you today. Be good because Brother Tom is keeping an eye on you. It's a good thing I'm here to interpret. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to end this up right now and I'll close by saying, remember, Half the fun of going is getting there. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.